So I just memorialized a picture of my dog by minting an NFT on the blockchain in his honor. And because that blockchain ledger is immutable, that means that this image will live on long after my dog is no longer with us. This is basically like the equivalent of getting a tattoo, except it's even more permanent because there's no removal services available. It is there forever. Now, before hopping into it, the reason I wanted to talk about this topic is because the hype and fanfare around the NFT space right now is just dizzying. And even I'll admit I was a little reticent about educating myself about this particular topic, but after diving in a little bit deeper, I've realized that you can get a good sense for the entire NFT landscape pretty quickly. So think of this video as a five minute investment to essentially put you in the know about all this NFT rhetoric. And no, for this tutorial, you will not have to be technical, nor will you be required to pay any gas fees on listing your NFTs. So the first thing we're gonna do is download MetaMask. For the most part, this is just a Chrome extension that serves as an interface between your address or identity and decentralized applications. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is set up MetaMask. So I'm gonna to go to metamask.io. I'm gonna go over to download. I'm gonna do install for MetaMask. So there's different applications. We're gonna use the Chrome extension. Just add that to Chrome. Okay, MetaMask has been added to Chrome. We're gonna click this little puzzle piece here and pin it so we can access it easily. So what's neat about this tool is it actually enables all ERC20 transactions without the need for a crypto exchange. Okay, so next it's gonna onboard us here. We're gonna go to create a wallet. We're gonna select agree, and then we will create a password. Okay, just created a password with one password. We're gonna go to create, and it's gonna give us a series of words which are gonna be used as our recovery secret phrase. And we're going to want to take note of those and store those in a secure enclave like 1Password. We're gonna go ahead and click next, and then we're gonna insert the words in the order that they were given to us, and this will just validate and uh, serve as the final step in this onboarding process. And then we're gonna click confirm. All right, it looks like we're all set up. So we're just going to navigate on over to OpenSea and get started with creating our NFT. Next, we're gonna head over to OpenSea. So you can think of OpenSea as amazon.com for NFTs. It's essentially a double-sided marketplace where you can bid on, auction, sell, and buy NFTs on various blockchain networks. Why don't we go to our account? We're going to do profile and we're just going to select MetaMask and it's just going to do a little handshake here. So now we can get started on OpenSea. So again, MetaMask is using our private key to connect with the blockchain through OpenSea. So we don't have to create an account on OpenSea. Um, we're gonna go to my collections. So we're gonna do create collection, requires a logo image. I'm just gonna use the same image that I'm gonna use for the NFT itself. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and approve this. Um, all right, we're gonna call this Mr. Whittles. Um, there's a bunch of metadata we can provide. I'm not too concerned with most of it. We are gonna add a royalty. I'm gonna come over to MetaMask to grab my wallet address. First I'll click sign here. And then I'm gonna grab my wallet address, paste it in here. We're gonna use blue Polygon. And that looks good, so I'm gonna do create. Okay, and then we're gonna add our actual NFT to the collection. And again, that's gonna be that same picture of my dog aka Mr. Whittles. Okay, and then we'll just give it a name. Okay, I'm gonna omit a lot of that. And we will do a supply of one on Polygon. And we're gonna go ahead and create. Awesome, so we just created our NFT. So the next step is we need to make sure that this is um, available for sales. So I'm gonna go over to sell. I'm gonna give it a price. I'm going to give it a duration of time and we'll just select complete listing. And then we need to sign this using our MetaMask. Again, it's not gonna charge us, so we don't need to worry about that. So this is available for sale for $3.70 USD. 
Okay, that looks good. Um, it's available if we search for it. And there it is. So now we can see it is on the marketplace for anyone to purchase. Real quick guys, unlike Ethereum, there is no gas limit on expressing your gratitude. So go ahead and click that like button so that we can evangelize the good word of crypto and get this out to a wider audience. Thank you. Okay, and then if we just wanna see some information about our NFT, we can see this ledger here. If there are any transactions, those will show up. We can go to details. If we wanna see the contract ID, so this is the underlying um, Solidity programming logic that governs the contract. It's probably generic for all the OpenSea NFTs, so I wouldn't expect anything unique there. But we could go to, um, so this is, this is a, a Polygon Explorer, Chain Explorer. Okay, so I also wanna show you how to transfer your NFT. So this is also called gifting. It is not the same as selling or buying. It will incur gas fees, but on OpenSea, they will cover those fairly nominal gas fees um, as a way to incentivize um, usage of the platform. So I have my NFT here. It is my picture of Mr. Whittles, and he's gonna go on a ride through cyberspace, and I'm just gonna transfer him to another MetaMask wallet of mine. So I'm just gonna go over to transfer. Okay, so now it's going to prompt me for the wallet address of the account that I want to send uh, my NFT to. So this is the destination address. It is an Ethereum address. Be careful here if you get it wrong, it's undoable. We're gonna click go ahead and transfer. And again, because we're using the Polygon network, um, it's going to be fairly quick. Um, this will settle quickly. And again, it's utilizing MetaMask. Okay, it says you're transferring. And let's just give it one second here. Processing. Complete, so it was very quick. Okay, so it, it took about 30 seconds, but now you can see for this account, the NFT is no longer available here. And that's because I have successfully sent it to another account. So I'm actually gonna log into that other account. So I'm just gonna go over to MetaMask and I already have it set up here. So I'm just gonna do secure. So this is the account that I sent it to. And now if I refresh OpenSea, it's going to connect to that new account and boom my NFT is now available here. So it's actually really cool that you can transfer these NFTs uh, for free. Um, that's pretty awesome. Uh, this would cost you know, 100 plus on the Ethereum blockchain in gas fees. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the transaction history. So I did send it back and forth a couple times just to vet this, um, but let's come back over to the Polygon uh, network. So this is the transaction ID. So this is in the blockchain, it's immutable. Um, you can see the from address, the to address, and the transaction hash. And actually, let's take a look at the fee. Um, so the gas price, let's see here, transaction fee using Matic, again, this is on the Polygon network, was actually four cents. So, you know, OpenSea is fronting the bill on all these transactions. Now, four cents, kind of nominal, but kind of not. If I do a hundred of these, I'm at four dollars. So, um, anyways, it, it, they're trying to get people, they're trying to, um, onboard as many users as they can and so we can kind of play around uh, with no cost due, uh, no cost incurred on our end and then real quick if you ever want to inspect the activity log associated with an asset you should be able to search for it so i'm just searching for it here it is and anyone can do this again because the blockchain is transparent we come down here and we can see where it's been transferred. And if we wanna see the details associated with a particular transaction, just click on the date here. It'll pop you over to Polygon Scan and we can see all the details here. I mean, we can even see, we should be able to see the smart contract associated with it. Uh, let's see, smart contract, um, right here. So we can even see the smart contract uh, if we want to look at the underlying logic and then we can validate that it um, has a green check, which means that it's matching the, uh, this code here. As always, if you want to stay apprised of the latest around emerging tech, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for listening.